Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, installed the low pass filter uh, on the board. Um, and uh, just some information for 20 meter band. Uh, L1 is a T37.6 with 16 turns as is L3. L2 is a T37.6 with 17 turns. Uh, and then the caps here, T28 and T27 are both 180 picofarads and C25 and C26 are both 390 picofarads. So I also had to, uh, so the signal gets injected from here, so I also, also had to install this resistor here. And then finally, just looking up on the board, um, resistors R52 and 54 and R50 and 53 needed to also be installed. I hadn't installed those from before. Uh, and basically, these are used by the microcontroller to sample the level of the audio signal, uh, which is used in the alignment, uh, which is what we're going to get into next. So one of the things that I'd mentioned earlier about this, uh, about this kit was uh, uh, the alignment um, function in it that allows you to not only peak the bandpass filter, but also to, uh, to um, configure the, uh, the various pots in the uh, phase shift network. So there's three to consider. There's the IQ balance pot, which is here, and then these two control the phase shift at, at low and high frequencies, respectively. And these all interact. Uh, but what we start with is the um, bandpass filter. So to get into the menu, you click on the right, the left button, and then you move to the one you want. Uh, let's go, go back, peak bandpass filter. So one of the things uh, you're encouraged to do is don't have your headphones in when, uh, uh, when you're testing this, uh, as it is quite loud. So uh, let me just uh, enable that, and you enable that with a click. So there you go. If you had your headphones in, you would, uh, you know, you, you, your ears would be blown off. So uh, we talked before about the uh, the variable cap here is used to adjust the bandpass fil band filter. And what you're looking at for at this stage is a maximum. So you can see as I adjust it, that's going down. So that's the wrong way. Let's adjust it back upwards. And it's very, very sensitive. So I'm barely touching it right now. See, it's just started to go down. So I need to adjust it back a little bit. Now it's going down again, so I'm nearly there. So let's just leave it there. Now, these numbers are relative. You're not sort of searching for a specific magic number, but you're searching for what the peak, what the highest output is. So what you move on to next, let's get out of that. Let's get out of that. And let's now go into the, uh, the IQ balance. So uh, unlike, the, um, unlike the bandpass filter, with all these other ones, the IQ balance, the phase low and the phase high, you're looking for a minimum. Because uh, what this is all about is adjusting the phase network so that it uh, eliminates the unwanted sideband. So let's start here with the IQ balance. And you can hear that uh, it's already down quite a low level. So let's uh, get my alignment tool in here. And with these three, as I mentioned, you're looking for a minimum, not a maximum. So let's adjust. It's a bit of a pain, this. And you can see it's starting to go up there. So we're headed the wrong way. So let's go back the other way. Now it's started to head back. So let's go back down again. And it started to head back, so it's somewhere in the in the middle there. So let's just adjust that. All right, so we've done that. Let's now move to the. Um, there's actually a quicker way of, of moving to the next one, but I can't for the life of me recall what it is. So now let's go to the phase. I think phase low is next. Phase low. And again, here we're looking for a minimum. And phase low is adjusted by uh, by this pot here. So you can see, it's still going down here. Let me get my uh, 
It's hard. <laughs> I should have repositioned the, uh, the tool a little better. So we're still going down. Still going down. Yeah. Still going down here. Now we're going back up again. So I think I've got it at about a low there. Let me just turn this up a little bit. All right. I just turned the volume up there, so so really it, it's 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 all relative this. So uh, let's get back back onto this. Let's see if we can find that minimum. It's extremely sensitive. I think I'm heading I'm heading back up now. So. Turn it around. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, I'm heading back up now. All right, so now the final one is uh, phase high. Phase low, we've been on that phase high. Let's see if I can adjust this camera so I can uh, so I can see this a little bit better. Let's do that. And then phase high is this. There we go. Wrong way. Started to head up again. And I guess you get the picture. Uh, what the the three pots all interact, so you do have to do a few iterations of that. So that's basically uh, that's basically all aligned. Um, next step really is to move on to the transmitter side, and uh, uh, that we're pretty much nearly done with the uh, with the kit. I mean, the transmission, the transmitter side. Really, you've got the uh, you've got the PAs here. You've got this uh, key shaping circuitry here, and another toroid to wind here, L4, um, and that's uh, and we're we're pretty pretty much getting done here. So uh, uh, we'll wrap this up pretty soon. Uh, I'll wrap this video, and then we'll do an, the next video. Will be on the transmitter portion.